At the festivals, they have like lineups mm -hmm. all day, all day. Yep. So you could still you go get play an it. early flight, mm -hmm. which I've like I've done. It's less risky, and you can get there in the morning and essentially just get straight to the business. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's less risky too than that like one artist where you're like, oh, I have to be here at this time. It's like I actually have all day to play, or tomorrow we have artists as well. Yeah. So you it same day for a festival is definitely less risky than your favorite artist. It's <laughs> <laughs> like your favorite artist is. That's it. They're going on it whatever time they're going on. <laughs> they're not waiting for you. So if you want to see them. <laughs> you need to be there. Although somehow again. We made it. Yeah. And we that saw worked. Yachts. I, and if y'all listened to our Beyonce episode, there was someone that may have not made it. And I still do think about that person who was on standby. <laughs> I still do think about them. Yeah. Because if you on standby, go the day before. <sighs> If you're a standby don't be, flyer, don't yeah. do that. If, that. if that's something that you know, like if you have family or friends that, you know, work for airlines and you're a standby flyer, do not take that tip and do a same day. We do not suggest <laughs> we it. We do not. Absolutely not. That is not. That's the last instance that you want to do that. In. That's if you just decided last night you was going to this guy. Exactly. <laughs> and even then, leave as soon as you find out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, welcome to another episode of Travel Fly Sexy. Sexy. I'm your co-host Natasha Terrell, owner of Travel Goddess International. And I'm your co-host Sincerely Jasmine, founder of Boss Babes Love Brunch. Period. Uh, guys, again, we're going to Bali. Like, come on. And you're coming with us. <laughs> That is like, I just still can't believe. I know. And so here exciting. we are one week from official launch of sales. Yes. Oh, wow. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> so make sure you click the link in the show notes get to that be early access. That, get that early access. Yeah. And be the first to receive the full details in the pay link yes. when it's time. Because oh. we're going to Bali. Because we're going to Bali and you're coming with us. Ah. Again, October 25th to November the 1st. The 1st. Yes. Your girls, your TFS girls, and you in Bali. Because we know Period. it was on your 2024 bucket list. And it's happening. We know it was there. Yeah, it was on mine. <laughs> Let us make it happen yeah. for you. Okay, Pearl. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's going to be so, so good. Okay. But before we get to Bali, we still owe you guys a few more episodes. A few more podcasts. <laughs> so here we are today. Uh, today's topic is going to be... Five tips for successful event travel. Yes, because it's that time of year. It's that season. It's that season <laughs> where you're getting flued out for concerts. For concerts, <laughs> okay? For no reason. Exactly. <laughs> so um, if you've lived under a rock, um, we're here to just take you from out of it because <laughs> it is that season. Every body is dropping a concert everybody's on tour everybody's on tour all our faves all our faves are on tour all our faves are outside with our other faves yeah. it's it's a thing so we were like you know we did event travel we do event travel but we yeah. also did it together last year for yep. beyonce's concert and we definitely learned a thing or two to be able to share tips because we already know y'all finna take advantage of all these tours. Exactly. Because Usher, Meg, like everybody's going on tour. Chris. Like, Mickey, everybody's like, going on tour. Too much. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm broke. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, you know, makes sense to be most cost efficient by sometimes traveling. Yes, that part. So we're going to get into why it makes more sense to travel sometimes um, and how to do it. Exactly. But before we jump into all of that, a little bit of God of Smell. From our inbox to yours, what's happening in the world of travel today, Jess? Yes. So I don't know if you all noticed. It is like a packing trend on uh, TikTok and Instagram where people are basically walking past the suitcase and implying how soon they pack their suitcase. Mm -hmm. um, so the one that I saw, which we'll probably put in the show notes, was about, I think, two and a half hours before the flight is when <laughs> they started packing. <laughs> um, but I just found it funny because it goes to show we are all the same person. We are. We all pack last minute. Yeah. Like, especially I feel like frequent travelers mm -hmm. because you're just like, oh, well, I know how to do it. And then you're this close to like missing your flight because you were like, oh, I got to get my laptop and my cords and all this <laughs> stuff. Um, how long are you? So you start I mean, packing. You ask me. <laughs> um, so I'm usually a, an evening before okay. type of person if it's a morning flight. Mm -hmm. If it is a flight that departs 10 a.m. or later, 
I am that morning. Oh my god! Because See, this I'm trend was split a morning times. person. That's true. But the caveat to that is, I will like possibly start laying things out the night before, mm-hmm. or just kind of getting an idea of, of the outfits. outfits. Yeah. But I've also done it where I'm literally zero to one hundred. Said that morning. You just figure it all out. Yes, and to your point, I feel like I know how to pack. Yeah. Like, especially if I'm going to the beach destination. Exactly. It's a formula at this yeah, point. I I'm agree. not worried about it. Now, I when I packed for India, I think I gave myself like two days before yeah. to start like curating outfits and figuring out what was going on. Because it's different. Yeah. yeah. You got to change for the tire a little bit. Two, exactly. two days prior. But yeah. That's still not long for most people. Two days before is like not. A two anything. weeks before yeah. kind of person. <laughs> and now I'm like, um, 22 I'll hours the, i'll pull the suitcase out like two days before and like start like you said like figuring out like this stuff is definitely going in there exactly. like you know it might not be in its packing cubes and stuff but i'm like okay we're definitely taking this like newer items mm-hmm. like you know these are definitely coming and like starting to like get stuff toward the suitcase <laughs> just um, creeping its but, way <laughs> yeah like actually finishing packing like packing cubes everything like I really don't finish until I leave because I have to put my laptop and all of those last minute things in of course of so course. I really don't zip until I'm going to the airport but I would say like the night before yeah another thing that I now not even now but probably for the last 18 months to avoid me having to be so quote unquote last minute in the last the last details of the bag I essentially now have like double of the things that I would want to take. Like, because before what I would find myself is I can't zip up my suitcase because I still got to put toiletry stuff in there. I still got to put skincare stuff in there because I got to wash my face and prepare myself the morning. The morning of, yep. So I've eliminated that. Makeup items. You're like, I can't put it to an eyebrow pencil got to go in. So now I just got two. Or three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it's the stuff that lives in the suitcase. Yeah. It doesn't come out the suitcase. Yeah. And then I have this stuff for home. So Especially that way I can actually close the bag. makeup. That is. Yep. Because that will keep you from closing your suitcase mm-hmm. for the same, sure. And my, my, my cords as well. Like Everything could be done. Everything has a double. Except for. I'm the laptop. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do these last thing. few things. My phone charger. I got to go with my personal item. Um. So yeah, that's smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now I got the trip. Travel stuff and the home stuff. The travel they, hack. They don't miss. They don't mix. So that way I can actually be efficient. And the only thing I got to do in the morning is zip it up. Period. We yep. love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, two and a half hours is wild. You're supposed to be at the airport. Yeah. That time. Like, I mean, we say go a little, like, a little late, but dang. Like, you just start packing. But I feel you. Go off. Go you off. Know, hopefully great. you make that flight. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> you make that flight, especially if you're about to go to this concert. Yeah. Because you missed that flight and the concert you is that night. the show. That is real tea. That's <laughs> a thing. So yes. let's get into these uh, event travel tips. Because you might you might need them. Um, <laughs> Your girls of Travel Fly Sexy. Before we jump into today's episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube and listen wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure that you're following us on Instagram and TikTok at Travel Fly Sexy. And of course, if you have a product or service that you'd like to see featured on an upcoming episode of Travel Fly Sexy, shoot us an email at info at travelflysexy.com. Now let's get back into the episode. We it's so funny that this is today's topic because we totally were just talking about Beyonce oh, and like yeah. Beyonce new stuff. Yes. And, and we just was at Beyonce. I know. But like what was yesterday? But... Yes, and it popped up on my um iPhone with the featured photos yes. of, us, of the Beyonce concert last year. And we traveled there. Which was, again, a same day flight. Yes. A same day flight for the concert that same night. So this is how you do it right. I was gonna say, like, we 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 not new to this. Yeah, <laughs> we give y'all this, the okay? <laughs> because we did it. Um, so first tip: book your event tickets with Ticketmaster via the airline's event portal. Yeah. So if you go back and listen to our Beyonce episode, I think we went into this a little bit um deeper, but We'll do it again because that was like, I don't know, 20 episodes ago. And that was so new to me. Like when you mentioned that, I was like, oh, wait. Yes. So now whenever I'm looking for like shows or anything, that's like my first go-to. Yeah, because obviously this is travel fly sexy. Oh, Keyword yeah. travel. So we're not leaving no points behind. No miles behind. No miles behind. We want them all. <laughs> so if you didn't know, you can book 
events via an airline portal. So specifically, mm -hmm. American Airlines has an events portal. Mm -hmm. So you go to their events portal. It is connected to Ticketmaster. Ticket yeah. So you have the validity of knowing you booked with Ticketmaster and you actually got real tickets. Um, but then you earn miles for your purchase. Two for one. Two for one. So now you get to go to the concert and you also probably can get, earn the miles to take the flight to the your concert. The flight might be free. Boom, bang. I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, the sound effects are taking me out. I know. I love a good sound effect. I need a sound, a yes. sound machine. I just we want, need a sound machine. I just want if y'all want to buy us a sound machine. Yes, please. Somebody buy us one. We're going to have well, it on here. There we go. Philly sound machine. There we go. Perfect timing. <sighs> uh, moving on. <laughs> but yes, so... If you have a preferred airline, um, I haven't actually looked up to see if there's any others, but I, th I think Delta. I know Delta. Delta does it. Yes, portal I don't know if United well. or anyone else does, but I know Delta. I say United has and American Airlines for sure. Well, but definitely American and Delta. Yep. So you're gonna buy them tickets anyway. Exactly. You might as well get the points. Please, the miles. please get the points of the miles, please. And often you're spending a few dollars on the tickets anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, especially if you're using uh, your travel card. Right. Now you're getting a quadruple. Yeah, if you're using your a travel card. Love a double B. And you get some points on there, get you some miles on the back end. There you have it. It's a win-win. Exactly. Now there is a caveat to doing this this way, right? And this might not even be a caveat because you might have not known this. And now I'm about to tell you. So maybe now it's a caveat. <laughs> Ticketmaster, when you book with Ticketmaster directly, you can actually Klarna or Apple Pay your concert tickets on Ticketmaster. A lot of people did not know that. They just go ahead and they, check it out, yeah. and then they're done. Partner don't mess with me anyway. But for, for the people that didn't mess with, <laughs> <laughs> you could pay in four for the ticket. However, if you book through the event portal, you have to pay. You in have full. to pay in full. So I know it sounded like I said pay in full before, but I said pay in four. The number four, yes, <laughs> the four installments in when you book directly with Ticketmaster. But you can you have to pay in full. The whole thing uh, when you book the airline event portal. So choose points or you know flexibility. But you know, um, I don't know how much the ticket costs. I mean, if it costs more, I want the points. That's just me. Yes, <laughs> I mean, the four is nice anyway. But yeah, I'm like, I want the points. Yes. for this. So that's just me. But whatever works for you. So there. So there you go. Um, that's smart. Portal. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. Um, especially for those costly ones, Karna is nice, but miles are nicer. Per. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So for concerts, obviously, that's kind of what we're speaking about. Check the cities. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to check the cities that have multiple tours um, because you kind of get some flexibility in price there. Yes. Um, so got more than one show. Exactly. So if you have like a double night um, in some of those more major cities, you might see that they might either do a double night or circle back later in the tour. Mm -hmm. You will find that if you play with those dates, you might find cheaper tickets yes. on maybe the you know one or the other dates. Yep, I've definitely found that um, when I was specifically looking again for the Beyonce show, mm -hmm. and she had a lot of cities where it was two nights. Yep, and the second or the we'll call it she had some cities where she had three, three nights. nights. Yeah, that last night was typically the least expensive. Exactly, because you know, people was filling up the first, the first night because I'm here that she, exec, excited that she's here this first night and then people trickle to the second night. And, exactly. Yeah. So definitely, if you know, if you see more than one um, date in that mm -hmm. city, if you got that kind of flexibility, consider the second date. Because definitely. You might get a little bit better. A little more rate. flexibility, yeah. Also, the rates are usually a little bit better um, for the dates that are in during the week. Yes. Interesting. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because travel and everything in general is just a little bit more reasonable. Mm -hmm. So you, they tend to match the prices with that. Like, yeah. you know, and also, you know, everybody ain't popping out on a work night. Okay. Everybody they don't have that flexibility to do a concert now. on a Monday or a Thursday. Right. So yeah, like, if you got that flexibility, <laughs> make it work. Take advantage. Take advantage. Um, another tip. Book refundable room rates. And yes. again, this is if you're traveling, which is what we're talking about. Go travel to see your favorite artist now. You can see them in your backyard anytime. Make an experience out of it. So if you're traveling, you probably going to need somewhere to stay. Um, so book the refundable room rate. Um, and that's the price that, and that's more so because the price could fluctuate. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, they do know that your favorite artist is going to be in their city that particular evening. Um, but that doesn't mean that 
they won't like that um the sales won't change exactly um so yeah if you have a refundable ticket that'll allow you to you know maybe cancel and rebook for the, the rate, rate that goes down a different accommodation or a different maybe accommodation. lower or whatever if you see that then maybe the flight the price may have went down exactly. um where you're like oh i searched before and i paid this but this is actually closer to the venue mm-hmm. and more reasonable um so just giving yourself that flexibility also i think it's important these two kind of go hand in hand if you're flying in on um, the same day or a different day, if you do a refundable, you can edit your dates. Mm. So if you do fly in the day before and you miss your flight, God forbid, and you need to change to the next night, you can cancel and rebook mm. and change your dates if necessary. However, the next tip is don't do that. Just, <laughs> just fly in on the same day. Um, simply because you save money that way. Yeah, yeah. It could be a little stressful, but... I think is is worth it. And yeah. we both did it. We did. I listen, the Lord was on our side yes. because in my mind I was like this is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but it tends to be the best rate and you save more, you know, cuz obviously you're cutting back on a little bit more time by going that same day and then you know you just have that one night. Yeah, it's interesting how things are priced that way, but they know they know the they they essentially they think like the consumer exactly. They know that majority of the people are not going to chance the same day. Mm-hmm. People are going to so come that the night before. Light is going to be higher the night before or even the, the two days before, mm-hmm. um, because they just know that y'all coming in town <laughs> and getting ready. Yes, they like. Uh, but if you want to play around with it, you're almost guaranteed to have a less expensive flight for the day of the show. Definitely. Um, and the same with the room rates, you know, you can book the night before and then obviously the day of the mm-hmm. concert, um, and check out the following day or you can save a night and just one come night. Nice, yeah, and just do one night. Exactly. <laughs> so you save on a flight, save when you stay, you, you know, if, if, if saving is your thing, if saving's the name of the game, this is how you do it. And you're saving <laughs> space in your bag because that's Lux time. <laughs> there you go. Like, you don't need all these extra outfits. Exactly. You just need the one for the show exactly. and the one to get home. <laughs> all right. Here we have it. Speaking literally from experience. Um, okay. Now for festivals, if you fly in the same day. <laughs> oh, is this what you were just saying? Yeah. Okay. With the, yeah, right, with right. festivals. Yeah. But it works well for festivals because... A lot of the, um, what do you call it? Uh, with the festivals, they have like lineups. Mm-hmm. All day. All day. Yep. So you could still you go get play an it. early flight, mm-hmm. which I've like I've done. It's less risky. And you can get there in the morning and essentially just get straight to the business. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's less risky too than that like one artist where you're like, oh, I have to be here at this time. It's like, I actually have all day to play or tomorrow we have artists as well. Yeah. So you... It, same day for a festival is definitely less risky than your favorite artist. <laughs> it's like your favorite artist, is, that's it. They're going on it whatever time they're going on. They're not waiting for you. So if you want to see them. <laughs> you need to be there. Although somehow again. We made it. Yeah. And we that saw worked. all yachts. I, and if y'all listen to our Beyonce episode, there was someone that may have not made it. And I still do think about that person who was on standby. I still do think about them. Yeah. Because if you on standby, go the day before. If you're a standby don't, flyer, don't yeah. do that. If, that. if that's something that you know, like if you have family or friends that, you know, work for airlines and you're a standby flyer, do not take that tip and do a same day. We do not suggest <laughs> we it. We do not. Absolutely not. That is not. That's the last instance that you want to do that. In. That's if you just decided last night you was going to this guy. <laughs> exactly. And even then, leave as soon as you find out. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't wait for it. Leave as soon as you find out. Oh my goodness, that's too good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I, I, my other tip that I just think is important is to go with someone who wants to see that artist and or be there. Yes. And the reason that that is important is because vibes matter. Always. They matter. Always. And if like you're just like, I just want to go with X person or Y person, that's cool, but when X person and Y person is completely disinterested mm-hmm. in this or artist checked out. or this experience, now you're kind of having a babysit when you really just yeah. came to see your favorite artist. Especially when it's like a one and or. Because when you're traveling, like we always talk about, you know, picking whoever you're traveling with and being mindful of that. 
But then you like had the concert expert. So you're like, oh, well, this person likes this person. We're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But then when a concert is over, they don't want to do nothing or they don't want like, you know, like they're like, okay, like, let's go back to the room. And it's and like, you you're like, like, oh, we're here in let's, this city. Let's explore. Yes. Um, So still, it's still a trip. So mm -hmm. be mindful of that. Like, you know, it's not just the likely of the artist right in order to concert or the comedy show or whatever the activity is yeah you still have a little bit of time there <laughs> you still got to travel with them you still got to get on a plane with them so definitely scout your travel concert buddy <laughs> <laughs> like, scout wisely yes because we know how it goes and it's like Ugh, I've just been there, so yeah. I just I just know it's not fun. No, it's like it concert is. over, and so is the friendship. <laughs> it's not a good look. You've been warned. <laughs> not a good look. So do a bit more work, you know. <laughs> do a little bit of homework. <laughs> Any other travel event tips or event travel, I should say, tips that you think? I think that's pretty much it. I think the biggest thing is like to try to save. Like the ultimate goal always with traveling is saving, but especially when you're doing a two for one, because we know them concerts gonna cost you a couple dollars. Yeah, but these, these people, like Usher, baby, yeah, uh, baby, yeah. where you going? But sometimes it's cheaper to go to another city, <laughs> yes, than it is to be in your own city. So you know, whatever the cheaper option, if you are looking to travel, um, make it cost efficient. And let me say this: when Beyonce added Kansas City. To the lineup, mm -hmm. everybody was like, Kansas yep. City? Mm -hmm. Ew, what she doing in Kansas City? Yep. Do you know them tickets was $29? Yes, absolutely. So go ahead and yep. sleep on the weirdo cities mm -hmm. if you want to. Get you a, a cheap flight a, and get you a cheap ticket. Now, now. There you go. So go ahead and go now. Now that you've heard that, go back and look at the lineup. And do your research. Exactly. For your artists. Yeah. Do your Check research. Check the numbers. <laughs> Check them flights. And find, a, find a weirdo city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some little small towns, but not too weird because sometimes it's expensive to get to. <laughs> right, because like Kansas City literally has like no nonstop. Yeah, that's up. Like those flights were a little pricey. This like, flight to right, KC. Like, yeah, like the hey. tickets were reasonable, but those flights were like because uh, it's a weird know? city. Exactly. Uh <laughs> so find you a medium, like a medium ugly city. <laughs> <laughs> me a, a seven. Me if I do a seven. Six and a half type. Six and a half. Six and a half type city. I can't. Have a great time. Grand old time. Because they going to love you. Yes, for you. For okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really going to put you on a pedestal, though. All jokes aside. Yeah, this city they, is like, <laughs> what? You from where? Oh, my God. You look so cute. Yes. <laughs> They, they don't see that. Now. They're going to eat, eat it all up. Like I'm dead. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's the truth. It is the truth. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I hopefully um, this is helpful and you guys can book your concert. I need to look at these concerts. Yes, yeah, so much. It's, I've, I've been I'm browsing. overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ugh, I'm going somewhere at some point for some show. I, I don't know. know where or what show, but we going to use these tips. <laughs> uh, favorite event travel tip to share with people? Um, Even if it's not on the list, but you're like, I definitely tell people this. I would say it's just to browse the list. Like, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, when people go on concert, like your they favorite artist, they just city. go straight to their city. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, what day is that? Am I available? Like, mm -hmm. can I make that work? Um, so I would say, like, start with your availability and just browse those cities because you never know. Like, you might be like, oh, I actually, one of my favorite cities is on here on a holiday or a day that I have off or I plan on being in that city anyway mm -hmm. for that weekend. Um, so I think just actually looking through those lists and dates and stuff because I know for a fact that even me, I'm like, Philly, okay, they'll be here. Where, what, <laughs> what venue, what because date? Because it's safe. It's just, yeah, the yeah, natural Yeah, like your thing mind do. does automatically go there exactly. because it's where you live. So think outside the box a little bit. But I was going to say, then you start to look at pricing and you can think, uh, maybe I can explore. Exactly. And I think you made this make sense. excellent point when you said, if it was a city that you already wanted to experience. Or you already have books, perhaps. That too. Because I definitely... A vacation that you already have books and then you're like, oh, wait, they're going to be in Miami the same week that I'm going to be there. I'll tell you what I just, just, just did like two nights ago. I know that we have to be in Atlanta for the Q2 Goddess mm -hmm. Getaway. Or... Um, Goddess guys. So 
I literally went to Ticketmaster, typed in Atlanta, it's so and it's... typed in the the uh, date span exactly. to see who have, was having What's a concert while I'm going to be there. Exactly. To make it make sense. And guess who was having a concert? Who? Justin Timberlake. Oh, so I made CJT. Um, but nevertheless, like that's, that's another lit. thing to do. Like, <laughs> like you said, if you already know that you have to be there. Exactly. That's smart. Go to Ticketmaster. Browse the city. You know, you can date. put the city in. Mm-hmm. You can do a date that's range. That's a good way to filter too, because a lot of people filter like based upon what you see, like or what's given to you. You can go to a city when you're there, mm-hmm. or based on dates, and just kind of see what is good. Yep. Because <laughs> like I didn't know. I was like, it's going to tell know. me. And now you got a concert. Because I'm like, I got to be here anyway. Exactly. So boom. Yeah. My uh, obvious, I feel like, tip is the Ticketmaster. Yeah, that portal. The event portal with the yeah, airline. Yeah, that's a game changer. Because I'm just like, if I got to spend money, I want to get something for spending the money. Absolutely. And that's not necessarily just the concert ticket. I want to be able to travel because I spent this money. Mm-hmm. That's just like me all the time. So yeah. Once you said that, I was like, every time. Every like, time now. Because we want to see the artists. Yeah. But like... They already rich. I want to travel. Right? Okay. (laughs) You ain't going to fly me out. Well, some of them, child, because the way these contracts been set up lately, (laughs) we don't know their life, okay? We just assume. (laughs) I'm ready for a trip for a concert. I know. Beyonce was so, so good. As soon as we wrap up this episode. See? Go bang. Um, (laughs) I'm going to see somebody. I don't know where or who. Updates to come. (laughs) Um, Well, if you're ready to travel for an event or you know just because then you already know or if you didn't know but now you know today (laughs) jasmine and i are both a part of travel guys international which is a full service travel agency that can assist with bringing your next event travel experience to life period so sign me on road for a concert and if not a concert just get on road (laughs) um visit us at travelgoddessintl.com and we got you covered period and don't say we didn't tell you, because if you're still sitting at that on that couch. Come on. You ain't looking at the website because these travel bills be popping. And we, we're starting to feel for you now because now we're in, what is this? We, we about to, it's Q2. Yeah, it's Q2. Wow. Now. This All right, now we let you breathe. Yeah, I need to. January, February, trip. March. <laughs> now we're judging. Yeah, I'm it's starting April. to judge me, actually. <laughs> I might have to book this. Let's see. Because <laughs> I need a trip. I feel attacked, actually, just now. I'm like, you're right. It is. It's Q2. Q2. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So the travel deal of the week is a five-day, four-night okay. trip to Tulum. We, we haven't featured Tulum. Tulum in a while. So been been a while. Let's bring Tulum back. Episode one vibes. You know. <laughs> but I also loved it because it was five days and four nights. Yeah. And usually Tulum deals are four. four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is early July. Okay, summer. All right, summer travel. Summer is here. Okay, now, because if you can't make spring work, what's your excuse now? Okay, because right. no school for them kids. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is a Sunday to Thursday. With round trip flights via Frontier Airlines nonstop from Philadelphia International Airport. We love a good nonstop. And four star hotel accommodations at the Waves Tulum. All of that, guys. Five days, four nights in Tulum. Three eighty per person in the summertime. Yeah, that's, that's the part. Cause y'all already know yeah, summer that. travel is July rude. Tulum. Yeah, rude summer Tulum. travel. So that is why I was like. Oh, this yeah. is cute. Y'all know if it's under 500, I'm going <laughs> to. She going to book it for her and bag. I'm going to look at it. <laughs> I'm look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is an exclusive deal. Yes, a premium. So a premium membership is required. Come on, $9. <laughs> so for that $9 a month now, you can go ahead and get access to this travel deal as well as a plethora of exclusive travel deals. That are sure to get you off the couch. Period. And in the skies. In the sky. And on the beach. Okay? Where y'all listen to us? Y'all be on the couch? Drop it in the comments. Where y'all be at? Where y'all be? I listen to us in the car. 
because I do listen to us. Yeah, like y'all be in a car, y'all be in a car too. I can't wait at right now. Every week, I'm like, Ooh. if you on vacation, that's a real flex. So drop it in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like we look to you on an airplane. Period. Okay, love it, love it for you. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be there too. Right, because child, the way this April set up, where yeah, am I going? I'm triggered by that time. You like, I'm like, ugh, I need to book a trip. <sighs> We, we're not, we're not, we got to do better. Let's figure it out. And wherever it is, we get let's brunch. let it have brunch. Period. Because <laughs> it's time to get brunchy. Period. So this week, Brunch Abroad is, I need to be abroad. But <laughs> this week's Brunch Abroad is in New York. I've been keeping it local. That's how you know I haven't been nowhere. <laughs> Um, I just was in New York recently. Um, I didn't go here though. Um, Mama Taco. Okay. Um, so it is a Mexican restaurant that does a bottomless brunch. I believe it is thirty eight dollars. So it's frozen margaritas, mm. sangria, um, regular margaritas, mimosas, and an entree for thirty eight dollars. Ciao. So How does she we love when the these entree brunches. included? Like that's real cute. How she find these brunches? I'm yeah. always amazed. So, and like when the bottomless got a comma in it and it's like multiple cocktails, I'm like, yeah, we love that. So you get all of those different varieties of mm-hmm. cocktails. And the entree. And the entree. $30 for less than $40. What? Yep. I should have went, but I didn't. <laughs> you but know, New York, we'll brunches be in New York really do New snap. York? They snap. New York and D.C., that's why I always feature them. Like, they are like the East Coast brunch capitals. Yeah, they really They snap. always have the deals. Yeah. $38, come on. That's insane. Yeah. Child. Come it's on. all right. We got a whole New York itinerary at this point. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> if you ain't going nowhere, you going to New York because I didn't send plenty of suggestions. Oh, this is too good. $38? Yeah, I'm ready. I gotta go. I'm, ready I'm not a big brunch. Mexican girl, but when you giving me multiple cocktails, like I'll take a taco. Let well. me ask you this: <laughs> I'll take a taco. <laughs> Great, I do love me some Mexican food, so this is a right up my alley. Yeah. Let me ask you this: fun fact: Do you feel like you get more tipsy off the frozen margarita or the on the rocks margarita? It depends on the place, because some people make a really good frozen margarita, like El Camino. Okay. El Camino makes an amazing frozen mark. Like their frozen mark to me is better than like their regular mark. Um, but mm, most places that put the frozen in it, it tends to water it down. So I would say on the rocks on average. But some places make a good frozen. I think I might disagree. You think on the rocks? I think no, I think frozen. Did you, oh, I think you said okay, on the rocks. yeah, I was saying on the rocks, but Yeah. I would have thought on the rocks, but the only thing with the on the rocks is you gotta drink it faster. Yeah. It's or, once the ice start the melting, ice and, melt and, it's, and done. it's done. Yeah. That's Where true. I do feel as though the frozen mark kind of really do have the, the alcohol flowing through every sip. The frozen sip. mark needs to be with frozen fruit. Like, that's the heck. Huh. Okay, tell me more. The heck is What's frozen this? fruit and not too much ice. Like, the if it's like an ice like blend with the tequila, then it tastes watery. But if it's like fruit, it's like a smoothie with tequila. And that's how you do it. Mm. I just want y'all to know, for the girl who literally says, I hate alcohol. <laughs> I was thinking that. I'm like, really, really be really knowing don't... all the drink tricks and everything you need to know about making a cocktail. That's everything, true. every time. That is true. So I was thinking that. Really? As I was saying that, I'm like, I am really telling on myself. <laughs> I'm giving y'all too much. All right. <laughs> Y'all listeners get yeah. too much of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but now I'm like, dang, I need a frozen mark. Yeah, or um, a smoothie with some tequila in it, whatever. <laughs> There's that. That that too. Um, all right. Last but not least, <laughs> question <laughs> of the day. <laughs> question of the day, day, Jasmine. If you could only see one tour this summer, mm-hmm. who would it be? But in what city? That is a tough one. I, I feel know. like you know I your did. answer. So you go first. <laughs> I'm thinking though, I am. Um, if I could, if the funds allow, because mm. child, it would be Usher. Yes. I knew it. And it would be in Atlanta. Because I just know he gonna he do it. He's town down. I know, I know right. he gonna do it and do it right there. Yeah. I, the, the second runner up would be him in, in Vegas again because I just think Vegas has a special place in a his vibe, heart now. Yeah. 
But I'm like, yeah, he gonna bring out everybody. Oh, it's gonna be Atlanta, a whole yes. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> so that's my. It's pick. funny you say that because I kind of like piggybacking off of that. Our girl Meg is on tour uh, with yes. Glorilla, and I will go see Meg in Houston because y'all yes. know I love Houston. Why not see the H Town hottie in H Town? Come on. Ah. Period. <laughs> like, so I might have to make that happen. Like, we're going to see. Yes. But yeah, everybody's on tour. Everybody's on tour. That's crazy. And you so. know who's tour? I kind of was like, I'm not checking for it because I was just slightly annoyed with her at the present moment. Thank when you, my Yes, but the tour looks so good, low key. I was about to say something that I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it up here. <laughs> It's fine. Because That's you my know, cue. like, me yeah. and Nikki, that is my girl, but she been weird lately. Yeah. And I just was like, when the tour announced, I was like, you dang. You were still kind of it's happening. You're like, oh, it looks pretty good. It does look yeah. good. And she looks good. Yeah, she looks good. She like, does. she looks good on it. She looks like she's having a good time. Yeah. And it looks like a good time. No, I feel you. I was thinking that too. I was like, it's, I don't think it's going really good. But then it's like, it's also Nikki Minaj. Like she like, gonna win, right? Give. Like yeah. she got bars. Exactly. If nothing else gives, the bar is gonna give. So, yeah, it does look like it's been a good concert. So I'm like, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah. still, some dates. Yeah, where y'all going? Where y'all going? Because now concert. we didn't told you the event tips. Yes, now event travel to tips. So now you gotta go. You gotta be outside, and you gotta go to your see your favorite artist in, in your favorite city. Or your new or favorite wherever. city. Yeah. Or your new favorite city. The cheapest city. <laughs> they don't got to be your favorite, actually. You might see them in Kansas City. Yeah. Who knows? It might be any city. It might not even be a city, a town. <laughs> but you're going to pull up regardless. Uh, so drop it in the comments and yes. let us know. We, you never know. We might be in that same city. Yeah, so we say what's here. good. Miley, what's good? Um, <laughs> be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the episode on YouTube and listen wherever you get your podcasts. Yes. And follow us. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at TravelFlySexy. And of course, if you have a product or a service that you'd like to see featured on an upcoming episode of Travel Fly Sexy, shoot us an email, info at TravelFlySexy.com. Yes. We want to see your products up here. Yes. Okay. Um, and leave us reviews. Your feedback is value and we appreciate it. So Thank leave us you reviews guys. on your platform. And... Come to Bali. Period. <laughs> oh my God. I'll be like forgetting. It's really happening. We're going to Bali. We're going to Bali. We're going to Bali. Like all of us. Like. That's exciting. T like the TFS family. Yeah. That includes you. Let's go. So oh my gosh. It's going to be so good. Click the link. Get early access. And we're going to see you in Bali. And stay tuned because we're going to give y'all the whole entire. Oh, let's see. What's happening every it's day? <laughs> the villa. The whole, it's it's going to be so good. All the tea. <laughs> On TFS Take Body. Oh, all right. I think that's our episode. See y'all next week. Bye.